Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Takara Tomy Japanese exclusive. This is the Beast Wars vs Pack 08 and this is Ghost Starscream vs Waspinators. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to unbox them in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're also going to do some comparisons with what I believe is to be the original owner of the mould. So it was the Earthrise use of the Starscream figure, even though this is the Studio Series 86, it's pretty much exactly the same. We'll then bring in a few other Starscream figures as well you know just to see how he compares with them and of course some other figures in the same toy line just to see how he looks with that as well so as i start to pop these away there's a couple of things i want to say one i need to thank in demand toys which is where i purchased this from and as you can see they got it to me nice quickly and safely and just a quick reminder i'm only going to be doing star scream in this video uh, i'm going to be doing waspinator separate uh, because they're two different characters and i hope that there's going to be enough difference between them anyhow to warrant the videos now for those of you who don't really buy takara stuff they always do things like this so we've got like an outer sleeve uh what i mean by this is they go to town in a really good way with the whole presentation of everything they do just brilliant things so this is the box obviously i can't understand that at all this is just the outer box we now have another beautiful box inside there we go you can see the crystal clear oh this open i wasn't expecting it to do that you see i thought it was going to be a box but it's not at all it is just um a front flap that folds down maybe it is a box i'm not too sure no it's not at all there is the um figure itself transforming now again for those of you who are unaware they used to do versus packs they first started them off in japan with generation one years and years back and they continued them right into the beast wars toy line um, and again they've, it looks like they've resurrected them all and started them right this is number eight there's been quite a few more uh but because i had all the figures from the kingdom toy line anyway um Wow, there's loads of stuff going on here um yeah so there you go so if you get one of these yourself there's that inner box there's the inner sleeve and there he is right i'm going to quickly set him free from there and i'm going to come straight back to you so i have set him free and as i say we are going to concentrate just on him but before we do i just very quickly want to show you this um i just want to very briefly as i say hopefully you can see this you're going to see it in much more detail in his own video but hopefully you can see the i suppose metallic looking paint job on these what takara tend to do is exactly that they give you more of a sort of a premium finish uh, to the figures and that's exactly what they did in the war for cybertron toy line if you remember they did premium deco or premium finish figures they were actually called that so it's just I thought I'd let you know that because that's one of the things that they tend to do a lot. On the inside of this, we've got, again, pretty much what's on the other side, but it's all in black and white. It does look really good. Um, I've got the paperwork. Now, I'm going to open it up because I believe, and again, this is another thing that Takara Tomy started way back with Generation 1. Um, and to be honest, quite a lot of companies now do copy this. Um, they put collector's cards inside. So, yep, there they are. And there is ghost star screams so i'm pretty much presuming the instructions are going to be exactly the same transformation i'm going to upload it separately anyhow just in case it takes a long time on this video and we're going to start off by looking at the jet yeah it looks to me like the earth rise uh, version to be honest i'm going to move that out of the way just so it can focus fully on here um i'm hoping as well of course with it being translucent plastic that it is um robust and sturdy enough even the red look the red beautiful this looks stunning everything's pretty much exactly the same they're translucent so that means uh, that you can of course attach them in a number of different places and of course you can grab um, any I suppose you can put some blast effects on them as well will these fit yes they will fit on them so you can of course put your blast effects but what I was about to say is you can grab any uh, five millimeter port weapon and you can either put them on the thigh the fist the underside of the tail the underside of the wing loads of them i'm not going to spend too much time showing you too many things on here because it is just the exact same mold so as i say for those of you wondering how big it is it's a really big um voyager class figure so that's quite a long deluxe class figure obviously um i just can't wait to get this guy into robot to be honest so there we go that is what he looks like in his alternate mode it looks to me like that's the only solid um and the gray bit there bits of plastic um yeah the tail fins and indeed the fists but right there we go let's have a look at him in his robot mode 
Okay then guys, here we are with him in his robot mode. Again, apologies, no transformation process on this video. A, I wanted to do a tutorial and B, it took me ages to do, which you'll be able to see because I was so petrified of breaking it. But it really does look like, thankfully over the years, they've managed to sort, I suppose, the translucent plastic uh, problems out. Again, for those of you who've probably seen it, I did break a Dark of the Moon scan series uh, ratchet figure whilst trying to transform him. But I can't get over and I really hope I can do this a bit of justice. That's why I've put this back up here because uh, with a plain background, it's not as good um, of how good this really looks. The lights reflecting off it, making it look amazing. Um, it, it is. It's the Earthrise mold. It just looks so good. The silver's reflecting off the feet. The, of course, it's all translucent. These parts here. So we've got the forearms, the fists. Um, it looks like, yeah, the upper part of the arm, the tail fins, and then just the hinges here are the only parts. In fact, Telefib, all of these parts, all of the actual moving parts, shall we say, are solid plastic. And to be honest, I, I think that's the way I'd probably like it for obvious reasons. Uh, the cockpit was always been translucent, but it seems to pop even more now the head sculpt even the head is translucent it's just like a smokier darker plastic the expression on his face is brilliant it will of course spin all the way around like so it'll look up and down the arms will go out to the t they will spin around if you want to you can fold the wings back and you can maneuver them quite a bit but you can get them around but they will be slightly restricted it just depends how and where you move them uh, the legs will kick out to the side this is a little hip skirt it'll kick quite far up but not all the way back and again that's because you've got all of these um, extra bits be extra careful with these because they are translucent obviously um, and you might not see it or you might just apply a little bit too much pressure you do have your knee bend you've still got your toe tilt heel tilt and have you got a rock so yes you have of course you have they're all still there everything you want is still completely present um the null rays because it's starscream he's the only one who actually has the null rays obviously will fit on the sides they will look brilliant um this has blown my mind and it's made me want the e-hobby version even more that's typically one of the only figures that's eluding me at the moment there is his robot mode i wanted to very quickly show you this as well this is a great use of paper and of course a brilliant idea you have starscream on the one side and waspinator on the other so there's no need for separate um, instructions let's bring in this guy then so of course everything i would imagine on this would fit onto this yep it'll all fit no problem whatsoever so if you wanted to make him um, the ghost leader star scream or the ghost coronation star scream you could um look at the difference it's crazy isn't it i mean obviously ignore the shoulder pads and stuff uh but yeah it really is a really nice nice looking difference i only did a review on this guy i think it was yesterday to be fair um so there is another star scream we are getting star screamed out at the moment but he's obviously still one of the biggest uh, most popular characters let's bring in another one Again, at the time we were making this, unfortunately, still no more news on any more reactivate figures. Um, I keep getting asked that loads, but nothing on there. Let's bring in just another star screen that we've got, like so. And I'll bring in just a couple of little deluxe class figures, just to give you an idea of the size of him next to them. It would be interesting, though, to see if they do any more. I know, obviously, there's a specific sort of story with the ghost of Starscream but I do like the translucent figures uh the Shining Magnus obviously for me Hobby's a great one uh with regards to an Optimus Prime figure that's how big he is there but do you know what I really think that's probably about it I don't want to overkill too much because it is just the Earthrise Starscream mold that we've had loads of times for loads of other figures um and they still keep making them but I just wanted to show you and hopefully get across how nice it looks and I suppose maybe to reassure and reiterate to a few people that it feels robust it doesn't feel like it's going to snap it doesn't look like it's going to snap there's no uh you know stress marks or anything um and yeah it's it's a beautiful looking figure I will do my best to get Waspinator done as soon as possible and then we'll bring a load more figures in to see how they all look together in the meantime this is your Beast Wars versus Zero Eight pack from Takara Tomy, Starscream Ghost Figure. There you go, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take care.